Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy, I'm the girl, welcome back to the channel, and in this video, I have a special one for you guys, I'm gonna be telling you guys the whole storyline of Fortnite, starting from season 1, all the way up to season 6, so this video should be a good one, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it, also, comment what you think of this down in the comments, towards the end, I'm gonna say, what do you guys think is going to happen next, you guys should let me know what happened, what do you think is gonna happen next, let me know down in the comments, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, if you're new, cause guys, if you don't know, I post every day, I post two videos, and I also stream every now and then, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel if and if you're not subscribed you're missing out further ado it's gonna guard and let's get right into it so if any of you guys are new to what I do around here, I actually shout out all the new subscribers that subscribe to my channel, such as two videos ago, two new people actually subscribed to the channel, and I actually shouted them out in the video, and they liked it very much. One of them actually were in my stream, and they said, hey man, thanks for the shout out. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, and make sure you do that, I will shout you out in my next video that I make. But sadly, the two people that subscribed to the channel before this video, they didn't have YouTube accounts, like, active, or don't have an active channel, so I can't shout them out. But if you know who you are, shout out to you, man. But let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Alrighty guys, so I'm just letting you know, just think, all of this stuff that happened right now, so there's the cube and the floating island and all that, this would never have happened if it wasn't for the meteor. You guys remember the meteor? This, everything would not have happened if it wasn't for the meteor. Like, I just find that crazy. So let's just start off with the beginning of the storyline. So the whole storyline actually started off at the meteor that happened in season three. If you guys remember the whole meteor thing that happened, everyone thought it was gonna hit two of the towers. It had like the angle curved directly, so it was gonna hit two of the towers. It had like signs if you scoped up to it, it hit two of the towers. It also had like wooden planks at two of the towers saying it would hit two of the towers, but. As you can tell, it didn't hit those towers, it hit Dusty Depot, making it Dusty Divot. But another thing that I found pretty cool, I don't know if you guys remember this, as I was thinking back, I remember this. If you guys are like top 10 in the game towards the end of Season 3, there were actually many meteorites coming to the ground and hitting your game. To say you were on top of like a house or something, and a meteor hit your thing, it would... It would destroy the house next to you, but it wouldn't kill you. I found that pretty cool how, like, all the thing was working out. And this is where the storyline started to start. And it was, I'm telling you, it was golden from here. So the season 4 storyline begins with the meteor hitting Dusty Depot, making a Dusty Divot. And this slowly decays over time. But if you guys remember, there was an egg found in the meteorite, or meteorite, whatever you want to call it. it there was an egg found in there and this plays a major role but here is what the loading screens get because the loading screens add up to make one part of the story and the egg is the other part of the story i'm going to explain the one part of the story right now with the loading screens the loading screen first one as you guys can see for week one it was actually one of the meteorites hitting the prison if you guys remember the prison you're an og rest in peace moosty meyer hashtag say moosty meyer but basically the meteorite hit the prison and then you guys get to see the next one is actually omega breaking out of the prison because he was locked up because if you guys don't know he is actually the villain of this whole movie but the next one i have for you guys is actually the week three one and it is like all of the heroes looking at the omega when he escaped the prison the next one i have for you guys is actually omega forming his army in the evil lair so that's pretty cool it adds like a whole little storyline of how the heroes are together and how the villains are together and they're gonna fight in the next loading screen i just spoiled it for you guys you guys you guys probably know this already but they but they actually fight in the towers and that actually breaks the whole thing found until the towers if you guys don't know one of the meteorites actually hit the towers creating a hole in one of the buildings and this is where they are actually fighting i'm pretty sure most people don't put two and two together there but that's what happened next loading screen is is actually after their whole fighting they're just chilling behind the scenes talking to each other as you guys can see omega and Valor, i think her name is they are both just talking having a good time and then that's basically it for all the loading screens so as this whole event was happening along with the movie storyline there was a storyline behind the storyline and this storyline i just said storyline a lot of times but this storyline was actually the egg storyline then the egg was found in the meteor that hit dusty depot if you don't know what i'm talking about as the meteor hit dusty depot there was actually an egg found inside the meteor and this egg contained the visitor and the visitor actually launched a rocket that went into the map and then it created the rifts but how did the visitor get the ro get the rocket up you may ask it is because because the government was supporting the hop rocks for the rocket as fuel so the government was having a secret storyline behind the movie storyline so there's a storyline behind the storyline and it created one one big storyline 
But this rocket event was honestly one of the favorite events. It was one of my favorite experiences I ever had in Fortnite because it was just so cool. I remember I had to wake up early just so I could see the event, witness the event, and I have it recorded. I'll be showing it right now. But this event was one of the coolest events I ever had. But there is the start of Season 5. And if you guys don't remember the whole Rift in the Sky, it was actually timed to move every... I forget how, but it, but it was timed to move every time. And then it created one big Rift, and then it created the cube, Kevin. And then my boy Kevin actually went around the map, aka the cube, he went around the map, created these ruins in the map that we actually thought it was an outline of Total Towers, because it was. But we don't know what's going to happen yet. But it was but it was a whole outline of Total Towers that went around the map. Here is a map right now. But it went all around the whole map just to go in Loot Lake and dissolve like a sugar cube in Loot Lake. But if you guys don't know, this was basically the whole course of Season 5. The Season 5 storyline was only exciting because of the cube, but the cube wasn't really cool in like events. It was only cool like, oh yeah, there's a cube there. But the season six storyline gets pretty real. So the season six storyline, if you guys, you probably know this, but there is a floating island with the cube attached to it. And if you don't know, this actually went around the map. It started out in Loot Lake and it created this huge thing, but then it was named Leaky Lake. So as it was going around the map, it actually activated all of these ruins that went all around the map. The ruins were activated and then it brought all the way back. If you guys missed the live stream, it was one of the best live streams I ever had in my life, actually. The last live stream we had was amazing. Shout out to everyone that was there, man. If you made it this far and you're from the live stream, I love you the best. But basically what happened was it went around the map activated the ruins sucked up energy into the cube and then now currently it is at loot lake and it is summing up something into the sky as yeah, a purple we we'll, we'll on we want to call it a purple little thing that's going up to the top of the sky and it is a circle at the top of the sky what does this mean we currently do not know but that is basically what happened in the whole season one the season six storyline that was a long video i'm not gonna lie if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like on it if i missed anything let me know down below in the comments because i could miss something i could miss the little things that happen here and there but make sure i subscribe to the channel if you're new because if you made it this far there's no point of you not subscribing because if you made it this far you listen to the whole storyline you heard me talk for seven minutes so make sure you subscribe but without further ado it's your guard have a great day i'll see you guys tomorrow and or later with a brand new upload or stream. See you guys later. Peace.